Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Love our maple syrup. We sure do. We do not love all this scattered rain. Mm -mm. No. Halfway through June. Halfway mm -hmm. through June and it still feels like April or early May. So a little bit depressing. We need the rain, but we were talking about this earlier. It's not a lot of rain. It's a little bit spread over the whole week. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We'd yeah. rather just have a rain, like a full day, and I then know. just get it over with. I know. I so think everyone if could put would. in a request. So, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at what's going on. This is radar right now, just little areas of showers scattered about. And the movement is still very unlike June or really any month of the year. We're going from east over to the west with the shower movement. And this is a lot less than it was earlier. Of course, the lake monsters were rained out, so they're doing a doubleheader tomorrow instead. Looks a lot better tomorrow. Right now, though, it is raining over Burlington and Lake Champlain out towards Saranac Lake. Got some showers for the Northeast Kingdom as well. The lightning is pretty much all gone, so that is some good news. Had a bunch of strikes earlier in the evening. But the center of this mess is, is actually moving along. A lot of times it doesn't move very quickly, but this one is. The whole upper level low will pivot out to the east as we get into tomorrow. That gives us pretty much a whole day, a day, can you believe it, of nice weather. Now Church Street is shiny right now, so the rain is being seen by the, the camera lens there. And on the bricks, 61 degrees, calm wind at the airport right now. Dew point is about 59, so it's still at that borderline level when you can maybe feel a little humidity in the air, but not too much. It does keep the nights warmer though. So here's Futurecast with the showers going away. Clouds going away as well for 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So it is a beautiful Thursday. It's warm. It actually feels like summer. A couple of towns will have a shower in the afternoon, just not many of them. Futurecast indicating up by Jay and Montgomery and then another one by Tupper Lake. Obviously, it's not going to be that precise, but the idea is a few, few spots will get a little wet later. Most of us not. And then on Friday, we reset. There's a little sun in the morning. A lot more coverage of the showers though on Friday. See how they kind of mirror or follow the terrain, both the Green Mountains and the Adirondacks on Friday. So there's more coverage and they last a little bit longer into Friday night. Saturday morning, look at this, Saturday morning at uh, 9, 10, just wet to begin with on Saturday. And so that's why when you put all the days together, it looks wettest there to start out the weekend of all of these. The Casella Waste Systems night tomorrow night at Thunder Road looks fine. There might be a little thunder shower nearby at 5, but most of them will be diminishing for 7 o'clock. Looks pretty much dry. Now, there will be some smoke coming in overnight tomorrow. This here, Friday morning and through the day Friday, the, the Canadian wildfire smoke is back over us. A lot of it up above, some of it at the ground. Might be able to smell it. Slightly reduced air quality is possible, but it shouldn't be... Uh, crazy off the charts and the humidity will be a little bit higher there for the weekend. See Saturday here, the line gets kind of close to 65 for the dew point and that would be the most humid we've seen all year. So that's how Saturday and even some of Sunday will feel. But as we get to Sunday, it turns drier. There's only a few showers left for Sunday, Monday. Wouldn't surprise me if one of those days ends up dry as we get a little closer. So we're watching that trend for the summer solstice or a start of summer Wednesday of next week. Looking good. Upper 70s with lots of sun and low 80s uh, around that time as well. Brian, Alice. All right, Tyler, thank you. Vermont Adaptive hosting their biggest fundraising event of the year this weekend. It's